I love my father, I love my brother, I love my family, I always, always do. Nothing of what I've done in this book or otherwise has ever been to, uh, any intention to harm them or hurt them. As we saw Harry right from the very start, where he talks about, I love my family, he said, that, I love my family. Did you see my shoulder then? There was a slight shoulder shrug, one-sided only. When someone says that, they normally do that position or that movement because they have no real confidence in what they've just said. The many, many years of lies being told about me and my my family, um, there comes a point where, you know, again, going back to the relationship between um, certain members of the family and the tabloid press, those certain members have decided to get into bed with the devil, right? Mm. Uh, to rehabilitate to, to rehabilitate their image. Yeah. If you need to do that, or you want to do that, or you choose to do that, well, that is a choice. So when Harry says, if you choose to do that, he does a pushing away gesture with his hand, it's actually his left hand. And that tells us that he is pushing them away. So if they keep leaking to the press, and they keep telling stories to the press about him, they will be pushed away, and they're already been pushed away. He's told us with his gesture. The moment that that rehabilitation comes at the detriment of others, me, other members of my family, then that's where I draw the line. So the flat palm gesture that we see Harry do there, it tells us that he feels there is no argument. It's a strong gesture, it's a dominant gesture, and it means it will be the end. It's like a cutting gesture. So if they keep doing as they're doing and releasing stories to the press, he will end it. So we see Harry give some really clear indications from his facial expressions about what happened when he says, on the day she died. We hear him take an intake of breath, which means he was shocked by how he was treated. And also his eyes closed just slightly, so like that. And that means actually that's a sign of anger or frustration. So we've got the two strong emotions going on on the day that his granny, the queen died. He was shocked and he was made very angry by what happened and how he was treated. The last few days have been hurtful and challenging, uh, not being able to do anything about those uh, leaks that you refer to. So when we hear Harry talking about the last few days and how hurtful some of the headlines have been from the press to him, we see his gestures are very sharp and to the point. There's no real fluidity. He's angry. You know, his lips tighten when he's talking and his eyes also close slightly. There are signs of anger and that's how he's feeling. I don't think he's having the reaction from the press that he hoped he would get. Rather than setting his story straight, he's actually given them more fuel for their fire. My words are not dangerous, but the spin of my words are very dangerous. At the very end of that clip, we see a really strong facial expression of contempt, which was this. Contempt means I feel superior and I really don't like what I'm seeing or hearing. So the desired effect of the book isn't having the impact he thought, but in a different way and creating more fuel. I don't get any signs of deception or denial from Harry's behavior. Harry is telling the truth as he sees it. And that's what we've got to remember really. When a person is telling their truth, it doesn't really matter whether other people see it or know it as the truth, that's his truth. So he's not denying reality for himself, but whether it matches other people's reality is the key difference. You write about a, a contentious meeting you had with him in 2021. You said, I looked at Willie, really looked at him, maybe for the first time since we were boys. I took it all in. His familiar scowl, which had always been his default in dealings with me, his alarming baldness more advanced than my own, his famous resemblance to mummy. So we see a really telling clue from Harry's facial expression when he talks about William's baldness. And we see the one-sided half smile, which is, that means, I feel superior, I'm better than. So he's quite proud of the fact that he isn't as advanced bald as his brother. It's pretty cutting. I don't see it as cutting at all. Um, you know, my brother and I love each other. I love him deeply. So when Harry says, I love my brother deeply, we see a, a frown appear on his face, just very briefly. Now that can mean three different things. It can mean anger, it can mean confusion, and it can mean concentration. 
My guess, because I can't ask him the question, my guess is it's confusion. I feel he's very conflicted with his feelings. He loves his brother. He says it with an intensity that I believe, but there's also this furrowed brow going on that causes some conflict within him and some confusion. None of anything that I've written, and anything I've included, is ever intended to hurt my family, but it does give a full picture of the situation as we were growing up. So we hear Harry say that nothing he's ever written was intended to hurt his family, but, and that but is a very key word because it negates everything he just said in his own mind. And then he gives the gesture of all round, and it's quite a big gesture. That's showing us that he feels he's giving a fuller picture, whether or not it hurts his family. And also, squashes this idea that somehow my wife was the one that destroyed the relationship between these two brothers. So we see another half smile of contempt from Harry when he says, squashes the idea that my wife was the cause of him and his brother not being on the best of terms anymore. That half-sided smile again makes him feel, or he does feel, superior and better than. So this, this he really believes is not the case Megan was not the cause of their family break. I think so many people around the world watched you and your brother grow up and feel like you two were inseparable. And yet in reading the book, you have lived separate lives from the time your mom died. Mm -hmm. Even when you were in the same school, in high school. Sibling rivalry. So we see actual joy on Harry's face when he says sibling rivalry and scratches. That's often an evaluation when we touch the side of our mouths, but we see the joy on his face when he says it. So he gets that it is quite normal to have sibling rivalry, and actually he gets some enjoyment from that, but he does try to hide it slightly with his hand over his mouth. So maybe he feels he shouldn't have that enjoyment of the sibling rivalry. For me, it was never a case of, I don't want to talk about it with you. I just don't know how to talk about it. Right I never ever thought that maybe talking about it with my brother or with anybody else at that point would be therapeutic. So we see at the very end there where Harry says therapeutic, we see a tightening of the lips. Again, there's frustration. It, and that frustration seems to be when he's not spoken out or he didn't know how to speak in the past, but he certainly knows how to speak now. And as we see in all of those clips, his gestures, are very fitting, they're very appropriate. He emphasizes his words, and uses his gestures to do that. And I see an open and honest portrayal of events from his point of view.